So this video is a thank you to Driven, made in the United States of America. First of all, we're going to start off by the stuff you can't see on here. I have the Driven block off plates on the motor. I have the Halo brake reservoir with the see-through hose that you have to order separately, but it's worth it because you do not need a clamp. I don't know if you can see that or not right there. But that says uh, made in the USA right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a beautiful look at that reservoir. And they, you can all you can use your uh, OEM perch, or you can use their little bracket that you can bend up. But man, let's see, look how beautiful that is. Oh different colored tops on it. This is the bigger one. The smaller one is obviously much, much smaller. But uh, look at that hose right there. No clamp on there. Look how clean that is. So we're going to move on to uh, our brake lever right here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now it's not a shorty is what they're saying. And it's not long either. But and this is for probably just anybody. But look at this. Oh. So if the bike falls, no problem. No problem at all. It only goes up like that, though. But look at that, though. If you walk by it or someone bumps it, whatever, whatever were to happen. But look at that. But the click on this, listen to this. And you can see the handle moving, too. Let's, let's pull that back. And it clicks hard, too. And it locks in there. Look at that handle moving. See that? I like to keep it right around one myself, one or two, so far. I just put these on just yesterday. And then over here on the clutch, look at that clutch lever, feel that action right there, and you can really see this sucker move when you click it. We're on six right now. Feel that, that angle? And once again on this side, the handle comes up, only up, not down, only up. Also, when they when they give you these, when they send them to you, it's got this. Uh, I'll pull it up right here. They send you. They send you this per lever, and look at all that. Look at all that right there. And this is silicone uh, dielectric compound, and you just put that on your swivel, and that's the uh, that's a bolt you take out right there that holds a lever on both sides. Okay, on both sides. So this one here also on your uh, on your clutch. When that comes, we have to loosen the nut on the bottom. Very important. Loosen the nut up first, and then unscrew this top here on both of them. And loosen up the nut on the bottom, and uh, on the bottom. Actually, it's over here on the bottom. Over here, you loosen that nut up first, and then take off your little your little flathead screw there. So anyway, they they send you. Look at all that right there. That should be enough for three or four of them. So you loop up your little pivot right there, and uh, they do not send you with the Loctite, but you should have Loctite on you. Um, I use uh, Permatex, and look at this, it's just a small little bottle, it's like four or five bucks or something. Um, we use blue Loctite when you put the nut back on that holds the lever, holds the pivot pin. So these, both these bottom nuts here on the brake, and on the clutch, you lubricate the uh, the pin, and then you put blue thread locker on the bottom. If not, that shit's just going to fall right out. Okay, it's, a, it, it's just going to happen. No matter how tight you, how, how how tight you put it down there, even if you strip the nut because you tighten it so much, it's still going to come loose. Okay, and then also from Driven, we also have which thank you again, Driven. Let me get their little emblem over here because it's pretty badass. There's their little emblem right there. So I got the rear sprocket, which is up one from OEM. And I don't have my cover off uh, for my front sprocket, but I have a driven front sprocket on there also. And that's down one. So we have down one, up two. And they make them there. Everything's made there and tested there. And they go through extensive testing. But anyway, this is a video about how great the, uh, the levers are. I'm really impressed. I'm real critical about my products and what I put on the bike. But even look at that sticker. Look how dope that looks. That's some 21st century stuff right there. You see all these other people with their, with their stickers and stuff that looks old school. This is beautiful. Look at that little crown right there. I think that's a crown. I don't know. But I really love the product. Uh, 
Thank you very much, Jim.